Hello and welcome to my Getting Started with PowerShell DSE course. My name is Prajish Pratap. I'm a continuous delivery and DevOps practitioner and I have several years of experience as a software development architect and consultant. Welcome to the first section of this course. In this section, we'll help you to get started with PowerShell DSE. We'll see how we can author custom DSE solutions. We'll also see how we can install and configure virtual machines and manage these virtual machines using PowerShell DSE. We'll get an introduction to Windows containers and Docker and see how we can use PowerShell DSE to manage Windows containers and Docker. We'll see what are the diagnostic logging options in PowerShell DSE and how we can troubleshoot common DSE errors. In this video, we'll have a look into infrastructure as code and a new feature that was introduced in PowerShell 3.0 that is desired state configuration. Let's get started with infrastructure as code and PowerShell DSE. DSE is a management platform in PowerShell that enables DevOps professionals to manage and develop infrastructure with configuration and code. This course assumes that you have some previous experience in PowerShell. You should be able to write basic PowerShell scripts, use the PowerShell command prompt, and if you're missing some of that, you will struggle a little bit in this course. I'm also assuming that you have some previous experience configuring and managing Windows servers. In this course, we'll be using PowerShell DSE to configure Windows servers, create folders, add users, registry entries, etc. If you don't know how to perform these actions manually, then it will be hard for you to do the same with automation. The goal of the course is to implement, customize, and troubleshoot PowerShell DSE in a production infrastructure. You will be able to author custom DSE resources needed for your infrastructure. We'll learn how to use some of the popular configuration management tools like Chef in combination with PowerShell DSE. We'll also learn how to implement Infrastructure as Code on Microsoft Azure with PowerShell DSE. So why Infrastructure as Code? When we look into the business scenario, with constantly evolving and changing market, business agility is one of the capabilities to be adopted by the firms to be able to respond to new changes and ideas faster. In the context of business agility, software development practices has changed a lot recently like testament development, extreme programming, continuous delivery, etc., making the development teams capable of adopting to these changes. But IT still uses the old way of manual configurations, custom scripts, golden images, or outdated tools to manage infrastructure. This leads to slower deployments, inconsistent infrastructure, and way too many errors. The essence of infrastructure as code is to treat the configuration of systems the same way that software source code is treated. Source code management systems test-driven development, continuous integration, refactoring, and other extreme programming practices are especially useful to make sure that changes to infrastructure are thoroughly tested, repeatable, and transparent. Now, in order to get the most out of this course, you will need to set up a lab environment where you can create and execute configurations that are of the demos and labs in the course. You'll want to have a machine running PowerShell 5.0. That means, on the client side, you need Windows 10. I believe that all the samples will execute fine PowerShell 4.0 onwards with Windows 8.1, but I'll be using Windows 10 and PowerShell 5. So if you want to closely match with what I'm doing, I'll recommend using the same setup. We'll also be using Microsoft Azure for creating and configuring virtual machines in the cloud. So a valid Azure account will also be needed during the course. All right, so what exactly is PowerShell DSC? DSE is an extension to the PowerShell language. With DSE, you can specify the configuration of the machine using a declarative model in a simple standard way that is easy to maintain and understand. The goal of DSE is to provide administrators with a method for maintaining consistent configuration sets across computers or devices. You can write an expression describing a system configuration and the system will evaluate and apply the configuration. 